you like going to Nando's, Garen? Guess what? I like going to Nando's too. So I went on Saturday with Sanj and um, we're from Barking. So in Barking, it's a very Desi area mixed with Bengalis, Pakistanis, Sikhs, everything. You've got every eclectic mix of brown in there. Yeah. Mm. Now in there, me and Sanj were queuing and it's like an electronic QR system where yeah. you scan, yeah. you wait, and then they have you in a system and it go up and you go up. Mm. We waited outside the restaurant because it was so packed. Then we mm. got in. There was a lady and, and a friend who was sitting next to us. Mm. And the guy called us up to go to the table. And she said, well, how come they got there first? We've been sat here longer. And the guy said, the list, you are beneath them in the list. Mm-hmm. So you I sat down waiting outside. and Sanj sat down. Yeah. Yeah. I sat down at a table and so did Sanj. And our table was literally directly behind the seating area. So it was just the next table along. And I'm sitting there and I think me or Sanj said something. And Sanj was trying to say something like, like, take that, ha, hold that. This is your fault. It's not my fault. You, you've you done this. And I said, Pichidik, Chupkarik, man, right? And she's like, Indy, we're embarking. That doesn't work here. So I'm saying, what coded language do I use in a public setting where everyone speaks my second coded language? What do I do? Okay. Let, let me just understand the scenario here. The comment that Sanj made, who is she referencing? The lady who complained. Because she was like, why am I going up first? Oh, okay. Sanj, so like, Sanj, ah, Sanj is basically system, saying, ha ha, that we got to see I beat you okay. in the system. Got it. How far yeah. was this person from Sanj? Barely six foot away. Did she know that? Yeah, of course she did. Because so, imagine yeah. the seating systems here, there's like a little fence yeah, and then yeah, the table's yeah, okay. behind the fence. So we have to walk around and then sit behind. So you, so Sanj knows, so she said this in the knowledge that they may hear it. Does she want them to hear it or is it just intended for you? Uh, I don't know. I think she was saying it to me and probably forgot that they were there. Now, I tried to say yeah. to her in reply in Punjabi, obviously, can you be quiet? They're sitting behind you. And she's like, mm, are you yeah. dumb? They understand what you're saying in your second language. Yeah, 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 yeah. So think okay. of a different language. And I don't have so, a different language. There's two options here. Three options. Mm. One is learn sign language. Mm. Not the sign language, but you can have your own sign language, right? Two is mm. you... I've seen some people use kind of like pig Latin, which if you don't know it, then, uh, you know, Kanye uses use it in some of his songs sometimes. I think he's on Watch Your Throne album with Jay-Z. No. And a couple of lyrics. Uh, Ish Bay, he, he says some stuff. But you could learn that. Or three, oh, yesterday, that. when I was showing uh, Shindy the imitation game uh, about Alan Turin, who broke the Enigma in, in the Second World War... In the sec, in in the scene when they're showing him at school, the young Alan Turing, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, and his friend learn cryptography, so they are able to send coded messages to each other. That would be the thing to do. But that requires you to write. You could write something on your phone. Oh, you could have written. Actually, you just write on your phone, bro, and you show it to your face, and you go, "Here you go, be quiet." Or I could have just texted to her. She could have yeah, just texted yeah. to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you want a verbal thing, then you need to. Yeah, you need to use a secret language that isn't Punjabi. Then we were thinking, well, hang oh, on. Hang How on. do people who speak Punjabi in Punjabi. like France or something, do they have like Punjabi. an accent when they speak Punjabi, Punjabi. In, with a French accent on top? Mm, and I'm thinking, how do you do that? And I was thinking in my head, I couldn't even do an impression based on someone trying to speak in French. Oh. Punjabi, basically, with a French accent. I couldn't do it. I really try, couldn't try, do it. Try something more local to home, maybe Welsh or Scottish. I'm from Wales. I can't do a Scottish accent cleanly. I'm from I'm from Wales. May I take it as It's a difficult, man. It's very difficult. My job, my job, Uni. It's really tough, man. That doesn't sound yeah. right. It just sounds like you're from yeah. somewhere in Britain, right? Yeah, Wales, man. Wales. It's not distinct. Uh, I'm from Scotland. My job, Uni. Mid up front of the night. It's tough, man. It's tough. I don't know. We should, guys, if you're listening, <laughs> it's hard, isn't have, it? It's very hard. Do you have family members who are from different countries, have another language they speak, French, let's say, or Welsh, or Scottish, or whatever? And uh, do they yeah. have an accent when they speak Punjabi? I would be really interested, in it, actually. I mean, we went to Greece recently, man, and uh, we went to the Gurdwara on Bundi Shor Divas. And their Punjabi mm. sounded the same, but then they weren't from Greece. They were the old guys who come from India, so that. 
Yeah, that doesn't help. So it has to, it has to be kind of like na- people native to that area, so maybe first second generation people, with their accent. That uh, yeah, that'd be really interesting. People, comment. Let us know. I genuinely have no idea, and I was thinking that would be really interesting to sort of know. So, mm. if you know anyone from Europe who speaks mm. with a accent in their European language, <clears throat> how do they speak in Punjabi? Because I can imagine that must be trippy as hell. Punjabi. But going forward, Garen, mm. I will be using my phone as a text messaging format to say things to people. I'm gonna that I can't gift say in front of others. For Christmas, like a Sharpie pen, maybe, and a little whiteboard, and you can just write things on there and just, on just carry it around with me. Yeah, mate. That's we already that's have one. Game Let game me just go it. and get it. Hang on, hang on. You've wait, got wait, one. Then. Oh, hello. <clears throat> look at that. Holy accessible. Hello. Look at that. Dry whiteboard. A two pound deal that Indy secured. Why have you not used it yet? You got the marker pen there. I can see it. Use Kuni Gita. Because Sanj got it to use yeah. for like a Intended game purpose. site and we never ended up using it. We're still yet to use it. Probably for Pictionary or something. Do you know what you could use it, also use it for? Is like a weekly menu. I don't know if it's that important when you have two people in the house. But yeah, but that like requires for... putting it up somewhere. Your father-in-law is on standby 24 hours a day. You activate <laughs> that, that rogue splinter cell agent, right? And he's there, man. Within minutes, he is abseiling down your window like Tom Cruise, ta. There's no Mission Impossible for your father, okay? And he's in, baby. And Yo, he's like, tell me where you want to well, go. San, well, Sandra's gone now, right? Because she's in Dubai. So, in Dubai? how much can I mess the flat up in a week? Oh, that's challenging. And say it's all her dad's doing and not mine. Oh, you're turning people on each other. You're a dark, aren't you? <laughs> so, what shall I do? You're what should I do, Karen? What should I do? I don't know. I need to mess with the party. Because by the time she listens to this, mm. it would have happened. Mm. And we would have argued about it. Yes. So what and you're I like, do? and that's it. And what that's it, Sanj. I'm never going to drive in the car with your father again. That's it. That's what you want to say at the end, isn't it? That's what you want to get to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But also, <laughs> what do I do? I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking now. I'm looking around the flat like, what can I do? Ooh. That board, that whiteboard, it would look really nice below Kobe's photo there. Just set it up there. Why, you know, why would like, it look that, nice there? It's just going to intrude Galson, in the background of our little Galson, podcast. Galson, Galson, but well, an interesting USB for the podcast is you could have something on there, and that I would have to guess what it is each time. Okay, we could make maybe, it but I also have another question. Yeah, is that written in reverse or is that written correctly? Because the way that I'm seeing things is in reverse. No, it looks so like is that it's... written? The thing is, I can say I can the say right L A K E. I can't. See, then it looks like an S, but it's not an S. Okay, fine, fine. Is this written the right way round? Because Correct. the way that I'm seeing it is a mirror image, so it's, to me, it's coming off in a different. Yeah, yeah. You're you're reading it in opposite. You're doing you're getting a mirror image, aren't you? So it's like a inverted. Yeah. Anagram. Sorted. So yeah, we could put something up there. Maybe we can try that. I don't know, guys. Comment and let us know if you if you want want us to do that. Then you can take part. Would like some comments on YouTube and you know help us grease the algorithm and stuff. You know, today when I was at the gym, I was trying to think of Grealish's name and I was like, you know that guy Greasy. <laughs> Greasy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh man, that guy Man City. What's his name? Greasy. I was like, oh, Grealish. That's his name. <laughs> and Greasy. And Greasy. Oh, greasy. Oh, greasy, greasy. <laughs> Mister Tapping Tapping. <laughs> Mm. 